Welcome to the funeral. The magazine business is dying. Dying. Does that frighten you? It should. It scares the hell out of me. When I arrived in New York with my curly hair and this voice, do you think anyone took me seriously? No. Oh, I wasn't at the mixer. I had a family obligation. And since it was just casual, I skipped it. Who else missed the event last night? Anyone else have a family obligation, a sick hamster? No? Good. By this time next week, I want everyone in here to have 40 new ones. And family doesn't count. Tell me, and this is important, have you tried the shrimp yet? No. They're very spicy. Spicy. <laughs> can't figure out if I like them or not. I think I do. Okay, now I mentioned last week that we'd be picking partners. I advise you, choose carefully, because you will be working with this person all year. And if you're like me, you'll hook up, get married, cheat, divorce, and end up bitter and alone, but I digress. Okay, let's pick partners. See, I already work at a fashion magazine, and I was kind of hoping that I could do something a little more meaningful, and I don't know what I can learn working with this sports guy. Who's right behind you? Oh, Last night, there was some drinking. Some things were said. Somebody's husband may or may not have grabbed somebody's boob. But it's you people who suffer. I love it. It's weird. And I have arranged a special surprise guest. Do you know who it is? I don't know, but let us pray. Graydon Carter, David Remnick, Anna Wintour. Stanley Mudge. Who is he? Is he famous? No. He's old. Stanley was the head of accounting at Hearst until 1985. He's here to talk to you about budget. You make amortization sexy. Okay, homework. I want all of you to get copies of your magazine's issue budgets for this year. I've already emailed each of your bosses and okayed it. Learn those budgets backwards and forwards because next class, I want each one of you to do a presentation on them. Okay, that's it, go. <laughs> Three, also the number of martinis I had last night after my boyfriend dumped me, but I digress. And team four is Mark, Betty, and Chair. Oh, Chair is Matt. He's not here, he's coming, but he's very invested in all of this. Uh-huh. They say they're invested, and then they go back to their wife. <laughs> Ugh, can I get a new team? If you like, I could be a partner. Give you a taste of someone with experience. Oh, I'm good with Betty and Chair. <laughs> I like to spice things up. Group hug. Oh. <laughs> it's thought-provoking. And the piece you wrote about music being the great uniter in the vast universe, it's brilliant. You are the Yeti winners. <laughs> you are the future of publishing. And it's completely due to your work. It has nothing to do with anything extracurricular one of you may have done last night. <laughs> and um, you know that the men who generally go to sing-alongs are... A catch. I love sing-alongs. We certainly have a lot in common. <laughs> Betty, has, um... Has Mark said anything about me? No, he hasn't. Not to me. You know what? That's fine. What am I supposed to do? Wait by the phone? I'm telling you, they love you! Really? You even got a smile from that woman from Harper's and she recently had several deaths in her family. Oh. Um, did anyone love me? To be honest, I thought you were selfish. They were hurt and you never called back. 